What is up guys, it's Heartless Gamer here, Come with you to another Atlas video. Today, I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to breed, what you kind of need to breed, and some of the things that have come along while breeding. So, basically the first thing we're going to start with is how to breed. So, the first thing you obviously need is you need a uh, breeding pen. Uh, I do have a video on this, so you can go check that out on my video, uh, on my channel, and that will be somewhere on this video, or at least in the description below. So... What you need to breed is pretty much campfires. So you can see here, I kind of have it laid out around the perimeter. That's very important to have campfires. In certain areas, and we'll get into this a little later, you're going to need the ice box too. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. So the first thing I want to say is the setup. Setup is important. You need wood. You need either cold. You need to be in the right climate. And you need to breed whatever you want to breed, right? So um, we're going to start off with... My second tip here is kind of, um, you need to have the right spec. So in Atlas, you obviously have several skill trees. If you didn't know that already, you have to be spec in the breeding and breeding and riding team. It's the same, like tier one is all tier one animals. So whether it's breeding or taming or riding, it's all the same tier two, etc. Like bears, they're tier two T tier three would be like your elephants, your giraffes, your rhinos. There's, there's such of, uh, types of animals. So you need to be obviously spec into them if you're going to breed say bears you need to have breeding bear level two spec or tier two breeding is what it's called so that's kind of what how that kind of works secondly when you're mating them you could either whistle them to disable them or you need to enable wandering and then it's like arc where you enable wandering you can whistle for them not to move while you're in the process of breeding them also you need to have the campfires on and you got to make sure you're in the right temperature. Temperature is critical when it comes to breeding. Now, temperature only applies up until the juvenile stage or when you're mating the teams that whatever it is. So bears, elephants, giraffes, whatever. So that you'll either get a hot symbol or a cold symbol above their head. So it'll look like a, almost like a lava symbol or like an ice cube symbol if it's too hot or too cold. And if it's going to breed, you'll just see hearts and you know it's working. Now, if for some reason the temperature drops or gets too hot, it will restart the breeding timer. So it is critical that you keep the same timer up until 100% until they are in the mating phase. Now, once they are, say the bears are pregnant or whatever, temperature doesn't apply until they hatch again. So you can turn off your campfires. And once you do that, once the babies are born, you're going to need your campfires to be turned on. Now, this is kind of where it goes into you need a lot of wood. I think I bred these, and it took like four hours, and I probably went through 8,000 wood. So just keep that in mind that you're going to constantly need wood. Now, I have a little bit bigger size breeding pen, so that's kind of why it might have took more. Obviously, the bigger the area, the more uh, temperature needs to be, um, you know, equivalated for the, the temperature in which you are currently in. So just keep that in mind when you are breeding. So the food, um, so for bears, they can eat meat, but not until they are juvenile. At first, like this is just an example, like you need the right food, obviously for the right thing. So bears are omnivores, they eat meat and they eat berries. But when you're in the baby phase, at least for me anyway, I used uh, actually vegetables because where we live, there are no berries. We live in the tundra, there's no berries. So keep that in mind, you can grow vegetables. That's a, one of the tips out there I can throw to you guys. What is needed? We talked about it. Climate. Climate is important. Climate also applies to certain teams. So you're not breeding rhinos in an ice land area. It's just not going to happen. It's too cold. Uh, we've tried this. It just it, We can't get it to work. Now, if you know a way that works, definitely drop that in the comment section below. I definitely would love to do a video on that. Uh, kind of an updated version of this. So that's kind of like uh, the video for that. Uh, speed and eh, the, the timers the speed it's a similar to arc so once you're done mating them you'll have like the day timer uh, until you can breed them again so bears it was like over a day you know for bears it's a total of about two days so you got uh you know your four hour baby phase your four hour gastration phase then your juvenile phase is like a day and then your adolescent phase is like a day Stuff like that. And obviously they eat less food uh, the bigger and whatever stage they're in. So keep that in mind. Imprinting. In this game, compared to Ark, there is not kibble. 
So you don't have to worry about that. What I've come across is they either want walks or they want you to press Y to cuddle with them. So that's pretty easy when it comes to this game, comparing it to Ark. That's just one of my favorite aspects of this game. And yeah, that's that's what I like about the breeding. Now, what are the downsides of breeding? Obviously, you need to be specced into it. Um, you can't just breed whatever you want in the climate you're in, so that would mean you might need an outpost for breeding or maybe boat breeding. I don't know if that's really a thing yet. I don't know if you can really do that or if it's that efficient to work or you know, at least to get them to mate. And then if you can keep them in a, I guess what you would say, uh, just using heat the whole time to get them, you, you pretty much just got to get it through the baby phase. Then after that, the heat doesn't apply. So you just keep that in mind. Like if you could breed them on the boat and leave them in that area for however long the baby phase is, because once they're gastrating, that doesn't really count or it's not a factor. So again, the baby phase and stuff like that, that's really what you would need it for. So a breeding boat, I don't know if that's a thing, but I, I guess it would be. I haven't really looked into that. So, you know, let me know what you guys think of that. Uh, that's kind of my opinion slash tips on this video. So let me know what you think is helpful, what I can improve on, what you'd like to see from my channel, what else you'd like. Stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything at all that I could add to this video, put it in the comment section below. Maybe we'll talk about it. Maybe we'll do another video if there's enough information on it. If you feel anything that I may have forgotten, I'm human, I might have forgot stuff, definitely let me know or anything you could add for the other viewers out there. Guys, I'm so close to 1,000 subscribers. I'm like 400 away. It would be so much appreciated if you found the why you should subscribe to me. It'd be great. Thank you guys so much. I hope to see you guys later. I'm out of here.